Many area residents say this landslide could very well have been prevented if only the city or CSX had done a lot more. Baltimore City officials say they tested parts of 26th Street, but as Joy LaPola tells us, there is still no evidence that much was done before that wall gave way. There is a sinking of public trust tonight. Nearby homeowner Stefan Lisky received this letter from CSX three weeks before this disaster occurred. In it, the company confirms there is property sinking and they blame the city for it, writing that it's due to a defective public water or sewer system. Here's what the mayor had to say a day after the landslide. We responded to citizens' complaints and uh, as, the, as late as, as early as a year ago, May of last year, did a structural test and found that there were no structural weaknesses at that point. But a week after the landslide, any documents related to those structural tests have yet to be made public. What's the delay in gathering these documents? It's not, it, it, is, it is not a delay, it's just not instant. You know. On Friday, we were told the documents would be made available this week. On Monday, we sent an email to the mayor's office and got this response. We should have everything pulled together either tomorrow or early Wednesday, at which point we will release everything we have. On Tuesday, we checked back in. Still no documents. The emailed response, hoping to have them back from the engineers tomorrow. Today, when we spoke to the mayor, still nothing. What do you say to the homeowners who feel as if they deserve some answers right now regarding what happened or what was happening leading up to this point? I think I want answers. They want answers. You're relentless in your questioning. I want to make sure that when I get the answers, they're, they're complete, that they are comprehensive. These documents are important because they could give clues into what led to this collapse. And we were told today it could now be several weeks before those documents are made public. We'll keep digging. Joy LaPola, Fox 45 News at 10.